Hello everybody and welcome to Knife Delights and you know what day it is. It is a fun knife Friday and today we have this very fun knife because we have an original Bowie knife. It says so right here on the blade. Hey what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a quick review of this uh, knife and then I have an important announcement at the end of the video that you're not going to want to miss. So please stay tuned and watch the video through if you would please. So I picked this up recently while uh, scouring through one of my local antique stores. And as I said, it says original Bowie knife up here. And this knife, uh, well, it's a fixed blade knife here. And it has almost a 5 inch uh, cutting edge to it. Uh, overall length of around a little over 9.5 inches or around 9.5 inches. We'll uh, grab a quick weight on it here. Then we'll go over some more of the features here. And what do we got for a weight? So we got 7.1 ounces for a weight. Or what else we got here? 200 grams. All right. So that's the very basics right there. Wow. I've had to start and stop about three different times here. I keep getting interrupted. Where were we? I think I just went over the... The length and the weight of this knife. Um, it seems to be made out of carbon steel. It is a full tang knife. It has three brass, three brass pins in it. And a brass guard. And bone covers. And as you can see with the age, the uh, covers have shrunk just a little bit. And we've got some gap there where it's kind of warped just a little bit. Um, I tried to figure out who made this knife, and it was kind of difficult. There are many versions of knives that are stamped original Bowie knife. I found one exact replica of this, or one exact identical model of this at an auction site. And it said for the Tang stamp that it had Sologen, and then underneath it, Japan. And I did some uh, hand polishing on this tang. And it's, the tang stamp's very well worn. But as you can see, it you can make out ING, like in Sologen, and then a PAN underneath it for Japan. So the tang stamp should read something like that. And this is what I can see under magnification. Now there were many different companies that made the quote-unquote original Bowie knife. One of which was Sabre and Monarch. And both of those brands were um, made under Cole National. Cole National also owned K-Bar at one time. So Cole National would... Um, contract out to, well, Japan and many other countries to produce knives to be imported to the U.S. There was another one very similar to this that was, uh, let's see, it was uh, Alamo. It had an Alamo and then J Japan underneath it. And then I found one other very similar knife made by Westco. But since this one just has, you know, solid in Japan on it, it's hard to say what company um, contracted to have it made and have it imported to the U.S. I'm assuming that this knife is post-World War II and probably 1950s or 60s era. And one of the reasons is, is I think that is because it has a brass guard and the brass pins. I know reading one of the knife forums for saber knives, their folding knives. They started out with carbon steel blades and brass pins and such in their folding knives, and then they switched to stainless steel and steel pins. So this is probably, of all the versions out there, probably one of the very early versions. Now, as I look at the knife, I can tell it's been used pretty heavy. And again, because of the shrinkage of the bone and probably through some hard use, the guard's a little bit loose there. But if you look up on top, you can see all kinds of ding marks. 
and the fact that the word knife is almost uh, gone there and the loss of metal there for the tang stamp makes you think that somebody did a lot of batoning with this knife. It's got just a little bit of rust on here and I'm going to be taking that off. There was a couple little spots with some paint on it. Let's see, yeah, like right there, I'm going to try to get that removed. But I'm, other than that, I don't think I'm going to do any further restoration on this knife. So, some of the characteristics that are distinctive for this knife, and as I tried to compare it with, you know, similar knives online, is the Sabre brand knives would have a straight cross, cross guard on it instead of being bent like that. Um, they used two pins instead of three, and so there was just lots of little clues there to tell me that this was not done by Saber, unless Saber made it and it was an early model and they just didn't put the Saber tank stamp on it. Uh, some of them um, came with stag, and of course these are bone, very nice jig bone. Yeah, the pins are a little proud. Again, because the bones have uh, the the uh, bone has uh, shrunk, yeah. But it is still a very interesting knife, and it is a very interesting piece of knife history. And now for an exciting announcement: this knife came without a sheath, so you know what this means. This knife is going to be sent off to John over at Jo Ventures Outdoors. And he's going to make a sheath for it. But wait, there's still more. John is a very good friend of mine. I love his channel. And I want to help his channel grow. We've got to get him to 400 subscribers. I'm going to leave a link to one of his videos in the description box. Click on that link. Go to his channel. Hit that subscribe button. And you want to hit that notification bell. Because... After John gets this, he's going to make a sheath for it, and then he is going to do a giveaway, and we're going to give away this knife and that sheath. So it's very important. Go to JL Ventures Outdoors, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that way you can be prepared. You'll be notified, hopefully. Hopefully YouTube's working right, notifies you for his announcement on the giveaway. Now, this won't happen right away because there's, you know, mailing and shipping times and he got has time to make the sheath so i don't know when the giveaway will occur but it will occur so head over to jo ventures outdoors and subscribe do it now please okay that's a wrap up for today's fun knife friday i hope you've enjoyed it and everyone have a very delightful day